Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with the Ortur Laser Master Pro 2. Friends, today we're going to cut a cardboard skateboard. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, this is my Tinkercad skateboard or longboard. Uh, it is a sweet little project that we create in class. Uh, we plan for four millimeter thick cardboard, and once you understand these tabs and notches, you can build some pretty amazing things. So what I'm going to do today, I've got these settings set, and I've been working on these for a while. Uh, if we do 850 speed, 80% power, and six passes, it will cut these red ones out pretty well. The words have a lot of close corners and a smaller area, so I've changed them to 1300 speed, so they're less likely to flare up. I've got the 80% power and still six passes to cut them out. Now, I don't want to cut all of this at once because it takes a long time, so I'm just going to cut the skateboard. So what I'm going to do right now is select these with a separate color. I'm going to make them orange. And then I'm going to take that color and I'm not going to output it. So we can still see that it exists, but it is not going to cut. I'm also going to get rid of some of these wheels with the same thing I am dragging from the right to the left. So we'll cut out one set of wheels. Once again, I'm going to set those to that fake 26 which is gonna be ignored as well. So we're gonna cut out a skateboard and we're gonna cut out the wheels. I've got the others already made and I'll show you how to assemble it. So let's get the laser set up. We're gonna to switch to move. I'm gonna bring it back to home with the home button. We are gonna nudge it over and I'm gonna use the shift nudge so it goes faster. So two nudges gets me over there. I'm gonna come back one nudge. I'm gonna go up two nudges. Real quickly, I'm gonna put my glasses on and let's hit a test fire just to make sure we're in a good spot, good beam. I do like that. Let's cut something awesome. Alright everybody, so I am going to unplug and power off the laser because I've got all the parts made. Uh, let's slide this back and let me show you what we've made. As you can see, cuts are pretty darn crisp. Set that aside so I can use the other half at another time. I've got HL Mod Tech and I'm going to push those out over top of the trash so that I don't get them on my board. It's just one more thing to clean up over the chrome area. This is my truck and this is one of the wheels. These are my other parts that I've already got cut. Friends, let me show you how to assemble it. Alright friends, so first I want to highlight my tacky glue stand. Friends, this thing is so cool in the classroom. Uh, I was always losing the little white caps. This solves that and it keeps the glue ready to come out. It's 3D printed, but I've got a piece of metal wire in here that keeps this from getting clogged as well. So when you glue these together, less glue is better than more. Uh, my students often have a lot of glue where the letters are. There is no point in that. I'm also going to highlight. See there, you can. Get, I've got some silly glue up in there. I also do not like my settings yet completely. That 1300, I'm going to adjust. I will let you know as I come up with a better one. Once again, we cap it and leave it like that so it's ready for the next piece we glue. The next step, friends, is to glue the wheels. You'll notice I double them up so there are eight wheels. I'm going to set the tops aside and let's glue these four quickly. Once again, less glue is better than more. 
And also plan on having to wash your hands when you're done with this because you will have the smoky smell of cardboard on your fingers. All right, so there's one wheel, two wheel, three wheels, and four wheels. I'm gonna set these aside to dry. And now friends, it's time to glue in our trucks. Now there are holes for each of these. They slide up into the two layers. I did do eight millimeters here, so they fit pretty well flush. I'm gonna flip this upside down. And for these, I'm gonna put a little glue on this spot and this spot and this spot and this spot. And then also a little glue in the holes so that they can stay there too. Once again, less is better than more because most kids want to take them home the day they make them. I always remind you guys, cap the glue, cap the glue, cap the glue. So that way it's ready for the next step. Then we can push in our little trucks. These are pretty rigid because we've got the two layers and because our cardboard's cut pretty well. Uh, if you have too much kerf, there'll be a gap and they'll wiggle. But right now I've got mine dialed in pretty sweet and that's not too bad. One upgrade I always think of is adding a support in the middle, but I have not designed that yet. But since you know how to design this in Tinkercad, you could create the support that goes in between them. At this point, you should turn it over and let it dry before you put on your straws and wheels. All right, everybody, so I have let it dry a little. I've got a hot glue gun and it is plugged in when we put on the axle straws these are normal straws like you'd get from mcdonald's i like to leave about a finger on each side all right so the first thing is put the wheel on the axle so that the straw is sticking out past it and then just put a tiny bit of glue out on the end of that straw now i accidentally squirt way too much which is a little bit annoying but i'll scrape it off when i'm all done once you've got the glue on there Hold the axle from inside the truck so you don't get glue on your finger. Pull it out and then just rotate that wheel so the glue stays out on the edge. While we're waiting for that one to cool, simply move up to the front. I always cut the straws so there's about a finger on each side past. Once you bring it out there and double check, eh, it's a little bit long. I'm going to just nip off a little bit more. Then once again, we just slide it through. And then once it's through, we put the wheel on, slide it all the way in, making sure you've got that room to put the hot glue on the outside edge. Once you've got your hot glue on there, I'm going to simply hold the straw really carefully so it don't burn my fingers. And then I'm going to pull the wheel out into the glue so that it sticks permanently. Now that that one's cooling, I'll go back and repeat the process on the back of the skateboard. Easy peasy. All right, everybody, so there you have it. Awesome laser cut skateboard. Friends, totally designed in Tinkercad. It is a simple lesson and it's also a gateway lesson. I found that once students learn how to make these holes and tabs, they can start designing anything. I've had kids making cars and airplanes and just amazing stuff because of the skills they learn in this type of project. Friends, don't forget there will be a link up above if you're interested in giving it a try yourself. Lastly, I just want to say I am totally impressed with the Orator Laser Master Pro 2. Having this at my house so I can design, prototype, and test before I take it into the classroom, a fantastic experience compared to having to drive into school just so I can test my latest design. Friends, don't forget if you're interested in the lesson, there will be a link up above. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day